Hi guys, good evening and uh, welcome back. So today, like you know, I'll uh, try to share uh, like you know my intro experience uh, in Toshiba. So actually, like you know, uh, Toshiba like you know, through Nokri, I got uh, uh, like you know application so that I applied the job for the Toshiba. So that there were like you know four rounds, uh, two technical round, one managerial round, and one is uh, HR round. So all four rounds uh, I got cleared and uh, I got a job offer as well. So I'll uh, like you know quickly like you know take you through the each and every steps how it uh, like you know each and every uh, uh, interview each and every round it went and also like you know uh, what are the uh, major questions that they asked uh, during the interview so like you know I'll try to share it so and also the throat uh, end to end interview process was very smooth guys actually that uh, Toshiba HR uh, made us like you know uh, very comfortable and uh, the uh, the first round itself uh, like you know it was kind of a pleasant and it uh, like you know uh, they were trying to help us uh, in all the way and uh, they made the process very smooth so for that i should appreciate the hr team of toshiba so when it comes to the first round so basically the skill set for that uh, 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 position was like you know uh, manual testing automation testing and api testing so automation testing exposure was very uh, kind of a very less so it was completely uh, into manual and api more only like you know little bit into automation first round it was almost like you know uh, some 30 to 40 minutes it was taken so during that time uh, so two coding questions were asked for me so one is uh, to find the number of occurrence of a characters in a string so that we can do it right say for example if they have given one string so we can uh, convert that string into the character array and uh, like you know uh, insert that character array into the map by reading each and every character if that character is already uh, repeated uh, we can increment the value by one so using the contains method we can check whether this character is already available in the map or not so like that I wrote the logic so it was uh, okay and uh, so I think that's a generic solution that everybody uh, writes so and it is okay so and the second uh, uh, logical question was like you know so there will be a complex JSON right say for example assume JSON is there so inside that JSON there are multiple array elements are there inside that array there are multiple JSON objects and uh, inside that JSON object there are again arrays elements like that so in that particular uh, json how do you particularly like you know verify that particular uh, element which he has like you know uh, which he has showed me so he has given me one sample json so he asked me to write a dynamic uh, loop to verify this first name is equal to this one okay so that one we can uh, uh, write it uh, using the like you know first of all we should be knowing how to write the json path okay so if we know the if we know how to write the json path so in that particular json path there will be uh, like you know uh, indexes right array indexes so to move to that particular array indexes we can write a for loop say for example if i is equal to 0 uh, and uh, till 5 elements are there or like you know for example even not 5 elements so that array dot length which will be give me the dynamic length so and we can increment the value by 1 so we can we have to go each and every element of that particular array and we have to check first name is equal to this or not first name is equal to this or not the moment when we find the first name is equal to this one we have to exit and we have to verify the test result so i wrote that query and uh, I wrote that logic so he was okay with that and uh, uh, and he was okay with that as well so and after that a few more couple of questions were asked uh, like you know how do you execute the collection uh, in the new man so we know right like you know uh, just like you know we can write one command new man run that, that collection name so if you give uh, it will run if i want to supply one data file uh, iphone d and data file name if i want to generate uh, some html report so that also we can uh, write it right if or html extra if i give it will uh, generate in the new man folder it will generate the reports so that i uh, told you and also like he asked a couple of scenario based questions like uh, how do you uh, keep the environment variable how do you uh, 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 read the variables and which variable takes the is priority like that so and also i answered it a uh, couple of uh, questions so simple basic questions so first round was uh, cleared and i was like you know uh, moved to the second round 
second round was very very depth uh, uh, interview guys so it was like you know uh, exactly it took one hour okay so he was asking me uh, so many good questions which are very very in depth in nature say for example uh, how do you uh, reverse an array or how do you sort an array so basically without using the inbuilt method so array array start sort of that particular array if i give so it will sort it right so you don't want like that so you want to uh, sort the array uh, without using any uh, inbuilt methods so we can uh, do that right so we can uh, use that bubble sort uh, technique and we can uh, write it but back then i was not knowing that logic so i was unable to do that one but still in the middle i was stuck so he moved on to the next question saying like you know how do you uh, write into the file so he was okay with any programming language so how do you write uh, something into the file so that also i was not aware of it so i was i couldn't answer for it for that question so but uh, remaining apart from all the other questions i answered pakka so that is what like you know i was able to clear the second round as well so the remaining questions were like regarding manual questions say for example if you have thousands of test cases how do you execute or how do you uh, prioritize the test cases and what is the test case template and all so he was uh, very much into the test case and test planning and all he was asking like you know how do you plan the test say for example if there is a feature uh, how do you plan so basically he just wanted to know how he is going to plan uh, for the testing so i told them like you know first we will be like you know uh, planning uh, what are all the modules to be tested and first like you know we will design the test plan so then we will uh, like you know go through the requirement and uh, we will be writing the test cases once the build is ready and once the build is submitted for testing we will be like you know going through each and every test cases and we will be executing it whether it may be smoke testing and uh, like you know detailed testing functional testing integration testing and uh, if there are any bug fixes that also we will be verifying it so like that i explained a uh, majority of the questions so then a uh, uh, little bit he was asking about uh, docker as well how do you pull the image how do you push the image and like you know uh, what are all the commands that you know uh, in uh, specific to the docker and also few very very interesting questions like scenario based questions uh, what are all the conflict that you come across uh, in this five years of journey and how did you solve them so i told them like you know uh, say for example if you have a conflict with the developer right so how do you uh, go about that how do you approach this conflict so i told him like you know whenever uh, there is an issue and if we have a conflict first we will inform the dev if he is not agreeing for that particular bug so then i'll be like you know speaking to the dev lead if they are still not agreeing so then like you know we'll be reporting to the po or ba and uh, saying that so and so this is this much priority but they are not agreeing it so then the po will like you know look into it based on the priority and the deadlines uh, they will uh, realign the priorities for the developers and for qs also right so uh, i told them uh, this way so it was uh, okay with that and also like few other scenarios based questions like how do you uh, support uh, during the critical releases and all so it was also like i told them like because we are the responsible for that particular feature uh, which is going to be applied to the production right so we should be uh, uh, responsible for that uh, so we have to support that so like that i told the same thing so he was okay with that and also after uh, one or two days i got to know that i uh, i cleared the second round as well and i was uh, scheduled for the third round so third round was like guys uh, i never even imagined uh, like you know third round was like that because uh, uh, it was like i never expected uh, that kind of an interview and i did not experience such interviews uh, in the past as well so it was a managerial round in that managerial round uh, basic questions uh, beginning uh, he asked and uh, after basic questions uh, uh, there was a twist so he was asking uh, uh, the puzzles and all say for example um, if you have 10 boxes okay so each box has 11 uh, gram 10 coins okay 11 gram 10 coins each 10 box has 10 10 coins which was having 11 grams so basically the meaning is one box is having 10 grams 10 coins so like that all 10 box but in out of 10 box one box is having 40 records 
which is having one gram extra so how do you identify uh, that particular uh, box which is that particular box so uh, I, I was never practiced puzzle problems and all because i was not knowing that so then like you know uh, he was only like you know trying to solve with me i was supporting for him finally like you know i was able to solve uh, during the interview itself he was like you know giving some inputs to me so based on that inputs i was uh, trying to solve it so finally like you know uh, i came to the solution as well so it is very easy guys now so basically you have to pick one one kind from each box and you have to like you know uh, uh, sum all the like you know what are the decimal points you will uh, get it right say for example uh, you have to pick one kind from one box you have to pick two kinds from second box three kinds from third box fourth kind from i mean four kinds from fourth box five kinds from fifth box like that so you have to sum all the uh, 10 box uh, kinds okay so whatever the decimal you will be getting it right so that decimal box is the faulty records so that's it so and also one more uh, timer uh, questions you asked i was able to solve it so it was a kind of a simple question as well so and after that uh, after one or two days uh, uh, i was informed that i was able to like you know uh, i was cleared that round as well so after that uh, hr round was scheduled and hr round was as you all know that it was uh, like you know basic basic things so uh, i mean they asked uh, i mean introduction and uh, what are the expectation and uh, uh, like that stuff so it was okay and uh, everything was good and uh, i was i got the offer as well guys so so that's how my experience with uh, toshiba guys if you have any concerns or like you know if you have any questions please let me know uh, in the comments down below and if you like my content please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel guys thank you thank you so very much for watching